If for some reason you woke up on Sunday morning and said to yourself, you know what I need this morning? A cup of coffee and Fox News, specifically Maria Bartiromo and her show Sunday Morning Futures. Again, I can't imagine why that's what you did, but if you did, you would have seen what I'm about to show you. And I word it that way because imagine just casually watching what we're about to see being fed this much dishonesty and that just being another day in the life on the network you consider to be giving you news. Very disturbing. And it's an interview with Tim Waltz, but then also who you'll hear from here, Marjorie Taylor Greene. And it is stunning to see how rapidly and dishonestly she perpetuates so many talking points that just aren't based in fact. Now, we'll get to um, what I'm talking about. Do note as you're watching this, because there's a lot going on. She says Victor Shokin and Biden pushing for the firing. Biden did push for the firing of that top prosecutor. We've gone through why that was and why that doesn't connect to their story about Biden. I'll do it again after the clip. But then she gets to the most outraged part of this being her accusation that somehow Biden's handling of Russia's invasion of Ukraine is connected to her conspiracy theories about uh, the Biden crime family trying to identify, Congresswoman. We've been trying to identify what specific policy changes did Joe Biden make or was Joe Biden behind to, uh, to uh, you know, understand why he was paid and his family was paid these 20 plus million dollars. Although Nancy Mace told me it's up to 50 million dollars. Well, Maria, you're absolutely right. Well, we know policy changes were made. Joe Biden as vice president of the United States withheld $1 billion in USA to Ukraine to get the Ukrainian prosecutor Victor Shokin fired. And then I would argue that we're in a war in Ukraine with in a proxy war with Russia today. Why? Because the Bidens are on the hook. He couldn't say no to Zelensky, and he still can't say no to Zelensky. These are the types of dangerous policy decisions that this this leader has made, and he's lied about him. He li so we'll get to what she said there in just a moment. But first, got to go through the Victor Shokin thing again. So many times I've walked through this for my consistent viewers, but the lies are being pumped out constantly. So constantly we have to refute them. Victor Shokin, top prosecutor in Ukraine at the time at issue, and uh, Joe Biden in his role as vice president at the time pushed for the firing of Victor Shokin based on the knowledge that Victor Shokin was corrupt. This was in line with our European allies' stance on the guy and also the broader U.S. government's anti-corruption measures in Ukraine. And so before getting to what dismantles this idea even further, just there, the idea was constantly pushed within the right wing with an absence of actual hard evidence to prove this. And so then just narratively, it doesn't make sense that Burisma would bribe Joe Biden, Burisma being the company where Hunter Biden worked, to get rid of a prosecutor that Joe Biden would have wanted to get rid of anyways because of the corruption of the prosecutor and the stances of all the different entities I just listed. But still Burisma would bribe him to do so. And then you learn that uh, Burisma actually wanted Viktor Shokin in that position of authority. They wanted him to stay as the top prosecutor in Ukraine because he was corrupt and wasn't actually going to seek accountability. We learned that through a number of different sources, including one of the Republican called witnesses, Devin Archer. And Devin Archer testified to that fact. And so then you're saying that Joe Biden was bribed by his son's company, where his son worked, Burisma, to do something that was opposed to the interest of Burisma and happened to be in alignment with the interest of our European allies and the U.S. government more broadly. Come on. <laughs> that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't know about you. But then she uses that to justify saying that somehow this means that Joe Biden is on the hook, whatever that means, on the hook to support Zelensky and support Ukraine as Russia is invading one of our allies. Or Marjorie, Joe Biden could be doing something that's also in alignment with the long-standing stance of the United States government when it comes to Ukraine and possible aggression on the part of Russia. We've been sending aid for a reason such as this to Ukraine for some time, even before Russia actually invaded. It makes a whole lot more sense to just observe the facts of the situation and say Joe Biden, as the president of the United States, is against Russia taking over territory of another uh, another sovereign country that happens to be one of our allies. 
But no, Marjorie's saying somehow he's on the hook, which I don't even know what that means. I've heard before from some within the right wing that it means Zelensky, because he's president of Ukraine, got the dirt that Joe Biden was caught up in, got the dirt that proves what Joe Biden was caught up in, the scheme and the bribery. And so he's using that to leverage um, Joe Biden into supporting Ukraine. Again, something that is in line with the U.S. government stance on a situation like this, as it has been for some time, and uh, our European allies as well. Very strange and dishonest. And as this impeachment inquiry process progresses, more and more Republicans are having to admit, okay, we don't actually have the goods on Biden. That's right. Well, first of all, I've been tasked by the speaker to assist uh, the oversight and government reform. With respect to foreign policy decisions the president may have made or vice president at that time with respect to money coming in to try to tie the two. We don't have the evidence now but we may find it later. And if you don't, you should have the integrity to admit that you don't find something. If you don't find something, admit that you didn't find something. They won't do that though. And then of course, Ken Buck has been very consistent lately. For the evidence, and in the case of impeachment, we're looking for treason, bribery, high crimes or misdemeanors, and, and in this case, high crimes or misdemeanors. So the evidence is very strong against Hunter Biden. There is very little evidence that links Hunter Biden with Joe Biden. Uh, Hunter Biden received. Yeah, exactly right. But despite that fact, despite the fact that even some Republicans are willing to admit that, you still have people like Marjorie Greene perpetuating the idea that Republicans have uncovered evidence of crimes and Joe Biden's a part of the Biden crime family and all these different nonsense allegations. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show and get a bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.